All right, folks, just finished Deal or No Deal. So I've just come back now. I'm going to get changed into my next outfit for tonight, which, of course, is my love and marriage outfit. At the moment, I feel quite dark. I don't like wearing a lot of dark stuff all the time. It makes me feel very... I don't know. It's weird. I like light colours, like reds. More red. This is quite a dark red and greens and, and whites and stuff. So I'm going to get changed for the Love and Marriage show. So I've got like um, half an hour now to get ready and get changed. That was quite a good deal or no deal. Um, not big winners. Um, I had a lady who won $40, which wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. So yeah, we're about to get ready for the next part tonight. So I'm super excited for the Love and Marriage show. It's always a staple at Carnival. The guests love it. I've been doing it for so long now, but I still enjoy it because the guests make it what it is. It really is their show. So let's do this. Let's have some fun. Come on! Good afternoon, everybody. We're here in the lovely Puerto Vallarta. I can never say this port. I don't know what it is. It's the, it must be my Scottishness, but Puerto Vallarta. I, I don't know. I struggle with this. But it's my accent, you can understand. If I was to give you like some really far-flung places in Scotland, like Kirk and Tillich, I'm pretty sure you would struggle as well. So I'm here today. It's a very special day, everybody. I'm in, I'm in PV, make it short. I've just been for Starbucks, but I'm getting ready to do something today that I am really excited about. So for everybody that knows me, or you've been following me for years, you know how much of a movie, superhero, video game geek I am, right? It's one of my passions in life. And superheroes especially. I talk about the story about whenever we were naming our daughter, how I wanted to give her a superhero name. And we did, we gave her a middle name. Her name's Kara, named after Supergirl. So the reason I'm, I'm telling you all this is because right now I'm about to go to the movies, which is awesome which I cannot wait, because I'm about to go watch a movie that I've been waiting to go see for the last two years. Because ever since it went into development, I have been so <laughs> excited. Now, I love superhero movies, but I'm a DC fan, okay? I know, Marvel fanboys, you're gonna shoot me down. I know, I like Marvel, of course, but DC has always been my favorite. Batman is my favorite superhero. And I'm about to go watch Batman, my original Batman, in the new Flash movie. Michael Keaton was my Batman growing up as a boy. And today I'm about to go watch the new Flash movie in a fancy cinema called Cine Cineop Cineopolis, it's called VIP. So I'm so excited. Get ready. Um, I'll try and get some shots like of the movie stuff in here, but if not, you will get my reaction of the movie right after this. So here goes. I can't wait, I'm so excited. Like a child at Christmas, it's funny. everybody I've just came out of the cinema after two and a half hours first of all it's really hot still outside it's crazy hot I love that film oh it made me smile there's a lot of really good funny laugh out moments I'm gonna say this here man Ezra Miller I know that there's controversy about him and stuff but that performance was unbelievable oh that's my camera was unbelievable because what was great about it, he showed two sides to his character. He showed the deep, meaningful heart that I always thought he lacked when it came to Barry Allen. 
And then in the movie, he got to play the other part of him, which was the annoying, always joking. And it was nice to see the two. And great story arc. I, I would like to, if it was possible, I would like to see Ezra Miller carry on as Barry Allen. I do, I like him. But I tell you what, Michael Keaton, oh, it made me smile so much. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. There was so many great moments, uh, great music, great stuff going on. I know that there's a lot of people talking about the CGI. Yes, it's very weird at times because it, with a big budget movie, you think that the CGI would be like out of this world. But I have a feeling there's a reason why the CGI is a lot funny at times. And I think it's to do with the whole idea, and this is just what I'm thinking, to do with the idea of this is Barry's multiverse, it's his version, it's, it's him, and it's, it's his world. And it's slightly over the top and cartoonish. And I think it's supposed to be like that. So I get it. It didn't bother me. It didn't take me out of the moment at all. It was wonderful. But all in all, it made me smile. No spoilers, but I will say post credit scene, don't expect something revolutionary to change the whole universe. It's not. I sat behind for it and it wasn't great, but that cinema is unbelievable. So it won't be the last time that I'll go there. So yeah, let's, let's head back to the ship. two already, no more. Crazy cars going past. Uh, it's a bit of a quiet one for me tonight. I, I mean, this night is, is quite nice because it's PB night, which means late back on board. People don't get back on the ship till like 8.30, 9 o'clock. So what I do is I do um, an early mega deck party at like 8.30. And I have to say it goes down really well because all the families come for the kids that are maybe, you know, they go to bed early and most of our parties are like 10 p.m. But this one is at 8.30 and I absolutely, I'm, it, do you know what's funny? I've been doing Mega Deck for years and years and the formats more or less always stayed the same. But I don't know what it is, but doing it early for the families and the kids, it's packed. The Lido Deck's packed. And the great thing is we start the party like 8.45, get up there for 8.30 start the party for 8.45. And then the great thing is, we then have a, as we leave PV at nine, there's a firework display in Puerto Vallarta. So it means that as we're leaving, we've got all these fireworks as we're up there dancing. It's wonderful, it's really nice. So um, that's all I've got for tonight though, which is great. You know, it's, well, I know I sound like it's, well, it's great, got a night off, but no. The next couple of days afterwards are pretty full on. So it's quite nice that like, I get the day to come off and just charge my batteries, recharge. And then tonight I've just got one big deck party. And then that's it for me, really. There's a lot of like comedy and music and stuff going on. But um, it'll be an early night for me tonight. Well, I say early. Early for me is like half 10, 11 o'clock. But that's still nice. So yeah, let's head back, see what's happening on the ship. Folks, today we are not the only ship in and it's very rare that we have another ship in in PV. We're always the fucking out only ones here on a Wednesday. It's kind of funny. Sorry, on a Tuesday. I forget what day it is. But no, we're joined today with another cruise line that I'm pretty sure you all know. Of course, we have Carnival, but then we have these guys. The Royal Caribbean International Navigator. 
of the sea. Now I'm upset because they've stole our port. How dare you? This means I have to walk a little bit extra to get back to my home. So <laughs> it's not bad actually because the two ports of where they dock, the two um, docking places, one, this one, you have to go through the shops to literally get on the ship. Whereas ours doesn't, it's quite nice. And it's beside the giant shopping center, the Liverpool shopping center. So it's a lot easier to be honest. So, but it's just really hot. You can probably tell by my sweat. It's extremely hot. So let's get some air conditioning, please. I'm melting, melting. Hello there, home. Can I please come on board now and go for a nap, please? So here's the big shopping center we're talking about. Right here, this is what we call the um, Liverpool and Galleria shopping center. So it's quite cool that it's literally right beside the port. But uh, I just need to get on because I'm, I'm literally melting. I'm so melted right now. I dread to think the amount of sweat I have. Hi, everybody. It's really funny when people notice me out in the port wearing shorts and a t-shirt. They kind of double take and go, is that, is, hey, Chris. <laughs> so yeah, I try and remain very inconspicuous when I'm out in shorts and t-shirt. It's a secret. Just getting ready for mega deck. I'm just checking my my kilt. I like to do the family stuff somewhere. No my my woo, my yellows and my yellow sneakers. And my little dress me down socks. The kids the kids enjoy. So I'm on my way up there now for mega deck as we leave Puerto Vallarta. And uh, I'm going to take you upstairs and let you see it. Um, hopefully it's a good one tonight. It lasts about 40 minutes. It's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. So come on, it's hot as well. It's so muggy and hot. Ugh. So come on, let's let's go. To the left, to the left, to the that's the right. To, oh, just let's go. I've even took my camera off the, oh my God, look at my hair. I've just done mega deck party, I'm so tired. So um, it's time for bed. I'm off now. I'm gonna edit this vlog before I go to sleep. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And tomorrow, I think we're gonna go to the Havana Lounge. Let's go see the Havana. Because some of you really wanna see it. You wanna see Havana, oh la la. Have a little I don't know the words, I'm sorry. Folks, have a great night. I'm going to bed. Night night. Mm.